pieces ladies this is eva eckert welcome to the episode number eight i am super excited as i send you the link today for the zoom i'm still expecting you guys to show up but i'm also going live on multi-platforms today i have decided that i'm just gonna go across the board and you might be a person that will be watching this the first time and find something super interesting today for yourself because as, as we entered 2021, I know that a lot of you sat down and thought about the new year and about the problems that you might be facing and just ideas overall that you might have wanted to have and accomplish in 2021. This group, the No Excuses Ladies, have been created with a thought of all of you out there who wanted to stay fit and healthy as a foundation for your life so you can succeed in business and in life because i believe that foundation of every human being is your health this is the priority your health and your family and then when this is in place when this uh, has a strong roots then you can kind of build upon it move upon it but also when you think about fitness in general being fit being healthy being um, those are those are characteristics of people that are very committed very um, goal oriented very scheduled uh, very on point and why don't you bring everything from fitness to your other aspects of your life right and succeed in generally speaking in business so that's what i created i want this to be a global movement for all the women out there who really need to get their shit together right this is an adult show so we can curse a little bit let's just be open and real and not fake it anyway and just not sugarcoat this so that's how we're gonna do it and i know that a lot of you accepted the, the request today uh, for me i know that a lot of you requested uh, to be here with me today and i saw a lot of invitations accepted so look don't feel strange if you are doing something at home and you just need to watch it or listen to it that's fine uh, it, when we're gonna have a moment of q and a's that's why we're doing this zoom so i can see you so i can see your face because otherwise on facebook it's not the same so today is episode number eight it's a first episode in the new year and let me tell you my goal last year when i was writing the goals down and saying to myself that one of the things that I wanted to accomplish and be a part of is a network group for women, okay? And look how it happened that I created this one. So things I just want to outline this, that things that you have thoughts of, they should be written down, the goal should be written down, you should have a good amazing dream and write those down but let's start from the beginning like we always start let's go over certain things that so you have an idea uh what we talk about here obviously we have homeworks uh, every week i always give you guys a homework to do so last week let's recap i had a, a great friend of mine kristen schneider here she, she is a uh, a wife of uh, a project instructor if you are not familiar with the project you should check it out uh, the project that Steve always talks about. Uh, the project is coming up in uh, in in few weeks, and you might be able to still join, or if not, for the upcoming weeks. So we had a great topic two weeks ago because last week we did not have a we did not have the uh, pleasure to speak because we did already all these different questions that we have asked, and we kind of sit down and go over. So if you did not have a chance, please do so. The last episode is there on Facebook under No Excuses Ladies. And I see you guys coming in here on Instagram, which is great. Again, this is something you might find interesting for yourself. And you can, and I can do this weekly. If you're looking for a private Zoom, send me a message and I'm going to give you the outline. So to make sure that you guys writing down those uh, questions, answering them, because in order for you to succeed in 2021, you really need to look in your 2020. Otherwise, you're going to repeat the same mistakes, right? So today, episode number eight, we're going to be talking, our topic today is what is the theme that you wanted to create for 2021? Now, for me, myself, I created a theme of having 
a boxer mindset and that's what I want to talk to you today I'm not gonna I'm gonna go in some details about boxing because I am a boxing coach of uh, it's been so long right now it's been so many years but as I'm gonna explain it to you how everything happens you might really relate to everything and kind of like wow this is really speaking to me but what is going to be your theme it's up to you you might accept the theme that I'm gonna give you but if not at the end of this show, I really want you to think what is going to be the theme of this year because this is so important. The theme, the outline, something that it's going to, like when we create a workout, there is always a theme. It cannot be sporadic and all over the place. It has to be organized. That's what we are big on. That's why we've been voted America's Top Trainers three years ago. That's why we have changed 20,000 people right now. And we have a, a, an amazing amount of people that have changed their life. We are very organized in our business, in our life. And, the, and that's how you can, that's how I can share the success with you because I've been doing this for a long time. Okay, it's been over 20 years of coaching. So now... <clears throat> With no excuses, ladies, you're going to find something that really resonates with you. All right. So just a little background on me. I've been in America for over 20 years. I came here by myself uh, as an immigrant. And that's why you hear a strong, strong accent here. And uh, let me tell you, my vision board was a map of America. Just to give you an outline, what means vision boards and how important they are in our lives. You might have a, a, a note, a picture, something that is going to be resonating with you in front of you. But guys, please, as of this year, start dreaming and putting those dreams down every single year. It's going to happen. Universe has a weird way of delivering to you. I'm here 20 years later. All right. So let's move forward. So the boxer mindset. And I want to tell you why the boxer mindset, why I created this. Because when, when you think about boxing, there is so many important factors of becoming a great boxer, of just boxing technique, and that's what I want to share with you. When I started boxing many years ago, it's been, well, Tyson, my, my son, will be almost, will be 10 this year. So I started boxing with, with Steve probably 14 years ago, and he was the first one that introduced me to the boxing technique and boxing workouts. And I have to tell you, it's, it, it was so uncomfortable for me. It was so tough. I felt like I didn't fit in. I felt like this is totally out of my comfort zone. And so many times the thought appeared in my head, well, maybe you should quit. This is not for you. But look, 14 years later, I'm teaching sessions. I absolutely love it. I feel being, uh, being so in love with this and love teaching. So look how things evolve and change. And that's what I want you to kind of look at your life today, where you are, what are your struggles? Are you having up the hill? Are you really having some difficulties? Stick around because these things are purposely given to you. I believe that obstacles happen for a reason for you to really push forward and to show how resilient you are, how strong you are. This is done for a reason. We're not on this earth to be so easy and, you know, in a lolly lala land. It's all great, but that's not what, that's not real. That's not what the life is all about. So, as I mentioned to you, I have my notes, of course. I don't want to miss on anything. Yes, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get it. I could not see beyond this. I was punching with my shoulders. My shoulders were killing me after the workout. So now how that boxer mindset, how being really boxing, boxing resonates with 2021. Why? I want you to have that boxer mindset. And I'm going to go step by step with this so you can understand why we should really come with that idea approaching 2021. First of all, you need to learn the technique of boxing. So think about your life. In order for you to accomplish something, maybe it's a weight loss, maybe it's starting a weight loss program, maybe it's just getting fit, getting healthier, uh, starting a business, you need to have a certain technique. You need to have things put in place how things are being done, right? That's the technique, how something is being 
down, how you do things, right? In order to accomplish them. But to, you, to be a great boxer, you need, you need to develop that great technique. So think about it, how this resonates with you in your life, right? Now, think about this. Hi, Dana. Thank you so much for watching and participating. Write it down, guys. Write it down as I go along. Just come, make a comment. What will be the theme of your, of your life this year? Or what will be the theme that you want to continue? What will be the main thing in your life? What do you want to accomplish? Now, the t proper technique in boxing will give you speed and power. Without proper technique, you're not going to throw a strong punch. If you box, you know what I'm talking about. If you box, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, Jana and Jacek, our MMA fighter, would know what I'm talking about. Uh, without this, you're not going to be able to, to, to do that. So the speed and power. So in life, when you get into a technique, when you get into right technique, what's going to happen? You're going to get that speed, that momentum, that power. Uh, and, and you need to, you need to continue progressing and being organized and having your, you know, um, boxing uh, matches schedule, having preparation for these, uh, for these matches, uh, uh, workouts, and everything else has to be in place in order for you to get it. So think about this like in life, right? In order for you to get the technique, to get the speed and power, what you need to do. You need to be consistent with what you do, right? You need to have the consistency every day on the schedule. So think about your life, like how you do things, how you do one thing is how is everything. Like look at your schedule, look at uh, at maybe your weight loss goals. What is the technique? What are the things? How you do them? Those are very important things to really answer your, uh, ask yourself so you can answer. That's why I chose, again, the boxing, because it shows you the technique, the punch, the speed, the momentum. Now, in order to be a great boxer and box through 2021, what, what will, is that that you will need to have? You need to practice your skills. In order to be a great boxer, you need to practice your skills. In order to win 2021, you will need to practice your skills. So if you want to lose weight, first of all, you need to have consistency in your workout, correct? You need to consistently learn how to eat for weight loss. It cannot be sporadic. It has to be in place every time. Maybe you have a business and you want to succeed. What are you going to be doing? You're going to be practicing daily routines, daily systems, right? Monthly systems, all these things that will give you the success. The repetition is the ma the, the, the will give you the mastery, right? Repetition is um, what we say that repetition is the mother of all, right? So think about it. Like maybe you want to start getting up in the morning to complete your workout. So what you need to do every single day, you need to get up at the same time. And eventually this becomes a habit. And another very important point is even if you don't feel like to do that, you're still going to do it. That's another thing. A boxer, even if the boxer doesn't feel like, like think about a boxer coming to a boxing match and doesn't feel like doing it. Well, the, the match is scheduled, scheduled. They have an opponent to fight against and you need to be there. So think about your life. Like if you want to succeed anything in life, you cannot just, okay, today I don't feel like I'm not going to do it. In order for you to succeed, you need to be consistent and show up even if you don't feel like it. You need to have that strong internal drive to do that. Do you agree with me? I would love to hear from you guys. Do you agree with me? Post this in your comments. I know that so many of you will be replaying this message, will be replaying this video later. Let me know what you think. I love to hear from you. That's the whole idea for me to give you the idea. But do you agree or you have some other plan, right? So please uh, let me know and think about it. More you do something, better you do, right? You start maybe not knowing how things are. Like think about it. Uh, when you want to lose weight, you really don't know where to start, but you're starting. You're choosing us, of course, Big Physique as a leader, as, as, a, uh, as a mentor, as, some, as, someone, as someone that you will, will guide you. And by repetition, Every day, you're showing up to a session, you're doing your workouts, and you're getting better. 
right? The same thing with anything in your life. Even though you have no clue about it, you will eventually learn. You will know what it is because by repetition, by finding out more about yourself, by finding out more about your business, about the workouts, you will not become better and better. So I love to wave to you guys. Steve always say, this is creepy waving to someone, but I absolutely love it. So uh, what else is about punching through 2021 when you think about the theme like how you want to show up in this world this year i want to show up with that power speed uh, repetition right having the right technique having the right tools but also think about i'm gonna give you a, a really specific words that we use in boxing okay what it is what it, what it is is speed accelerate return those are certain ways when you throw a punch, you have to get the speed, the velocity, and the power of turn, and then you're returning. Your punch doesn't finish at the bag. Your punch starts at the chin and finishes at the chin. That's the snap, accelerate, return. So how this, hi Pascal, how this resonates with, with your life. Think about it. Something hard is coming to your life. There is an obstacle. There is a, a problem that you need to resolve. And if you come with that boxer mindset, I'm going to snap. I'm going to right, return. I'm going to put all my force and my power into it. It's going to give you amazing results. The punch will be strong. That's how you got to come to obstacles and not giving up just because something doesn't work. It doesn't work now, but if you stick to it, if you work on it, it's going to work. I guarantee you, I'm going to promise you. People ask me, uh, you know, if you, if you don't know the story, look at my story. I showed up from, from Poland, from a different country, different lifestyle. I showed up here and became very successful. Uh, I am also a wellness coach. I'm also a Herbalife coach and uh, I, business, we make money off of Herbalife and not just direct sales. Uh, this is, it's all network marketing. When you build your team, you're getting money, you're making money. And I am working example of it, but I didn't give up. And those who give up, those are the ones that will say, I cannot make money because you've given up. But if you're being persistent and you have that drive and you truly want this, you're going to get it. So have you ever, uh, let me give you an example. And this is really cool. Uh, when we went a few months ago, we went to the zoo before COVID started. They had that ginormous pit. And you would, and there was a hole in the center. It looked like a, um, it looks like a tube kind of, but it has a really wide and round. And then you, when you throw a coin, the coin would speed, sprint, speed all around the perimeter and then would fall into the pit, right? Down the neck. And let me tell you what happened. You start slow, but then it accelerates. It speeds, it gets, it's it under, undergo uh, really the change in velocity, meaning it goes faster and then it goes into the hole. That's you. That's how you gotta think about your life. You get that momentum, you're doing good. Every single day, look at your victories. I write them down. You know why? And now I'm looking at them every month because we forget. And then at the end of the year, you forgot what you accomplished and you achieved. And this is so important because when you only see the failures, it's hard for you to appreciate the victories and it's hard for you to move forward. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So you need to recognize awesome things every day. At the end of the day, do that list. Uh, today, I created a domain, right? For instance, I'm going to give you an idea because the No Excuses Ladies Network is going to go. I have big dreams about it and I wanted to push forward. So I created a domain as well. All these little things. I spent an hour of personal development. I've completed my click funnels. All these different things that can happen 
uh, and you need to be grateful for it because you spent the time today i i worked on my app my fitness app that is going to be available very soon uh, for you guys to work out with us in a different way uh, you know, there is a lot of different things, but because the days are busy and we do so many things, you tend to forget. So you need to do that. You need to, to, to feel better. So what else is about boxer that I want to come as a, as a full boxer mindset? Light on your feet. If you've never boxed before, Pascal, you box, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of you box before, so you know, you light on your feet. You on the ball of your feet. Your heels never touch the ground. You're always moving right that's how have you have to think about your life it's not it's not in the same place we always moving we always evolving we always have to learn new things don't be afraid of learning and approaching something unknown because this is well known fact that people just constantly getting afraid of the unknown I'm going to put this one in here, guys. I'm going to try to charge my phone as well, who was dying. And and that's that's the whole idea. So please do it. Don't be afraid of new things, new ideas, new challenges, things that are just going to happen, the, the, the things that just going to happen unexpectedly uh, for you. And it's okay. It's okay to try. It's okay to come with approach of the unknown. Look, all the people, everybody, let me tell you, everybody started with at uh, some point. Sorry, guys, I was moving the screen around. I want to make sure that it's uh, it's charging. In an unknown factor, there is no born millionaires. There is no born uh, wellness coaches. There is no born anyone. Like, think about your profession. Where did you start? You had to go to school. You had to learn. And please make sure that you're going to watch this from the beginning because this is really a broad and very deep content here that I'm going to give you today. So make sure that you guys are doing this, please, please. So what else is the boxer mindset that I want you to approach? The boxer mindset for 2021. It's, it's being alert. What does it mean being alert? That you have to be alert because you don't know where the punch is coming from. Which direction? Right, left. You need to duck. You need to block. You need to block your head. You need to block your body. Right? And what are, what are the punches? Those are punches of life. Those are uh, obstacles that are being thrown at you. Those are things that, uh, that are being thrown at us as a part of life. And you you can block them. You can, you can, you can go offense and you can go defense right? You can punch or you can go into defense. You can duck. You can find a way, a ways to avoid it, right? Am I right? You avoid certain things. You learn them to avoid, but then you also have to come with an approach. I'm going to knock the shit out of this thing. I am going to push forward and I am going to do what it requires for me to do to accomplish my task or accomplish my goals. Like think about your life, guys, as endless learning. Like so many of you, finish schooling and you think that the, the, I am so glad I finished school. No, you didn't. If you're going to have this mentality of, of, I don't need to learn anything. I know it all. Guess what? You're not going to evolve. You're not going to become better. You're not going to succeed. You're not going to have good money. You're not going to have a lot of money. It's not going to come to you. We, you need to approach life as an endless student. Um, and I have to tell you, I, I used to love going to school, but a lot of times I had like certain things that I just totally would not learn or be so stubborn that I would say, no, this is my waste of time. I don't want to do this. This is not going to get me anywhere in life. And they were stupid subjects. But now when you finish school and you are an adult, you can choose the subject that you love and you learn upon. This is the beauty, guys that you can submerge yourself with something that you truly love. Nobody will tell you you need to do this. It's up to you. It's up to you. How awesome is that? You want to learn about fitness? You learn about fitness. You learn about real estate. You learn about nutrition. It's up to you, but you got to learn. You got to learn to scale yourself. Now, knowing your signature punch, that's another thing. What is your signature punch? 
for for what is your signature punch are you punching cross are you punching left are you doing a left hook right hook uppercuts what is it signature punch in your life like how do you approach it what is the strength that you have what is the weakness that you have where is your strength coming from is it coming from from being consistent is it coming from from being persistent is it coming from from always showing up is it coming from being um uh, diligent is it is it are you are you uh, faithful what is the signature punch or maybe you have few of them maybe you have multiple you gotta find this like in me i will tell you i am so freaking persistent and uh, i i uh, i will give you an example and this appeared to me many years ago and also just the fact that i came to america i had so many obstacles and i could not um i had these obstacles but i did not give up i keep on pushing forward and you need to remember you need to believe in yourself nobody else will give you that belief so if somebody doesn't believe in you it's okay but you have the self-belief you don't need anybody else to believe in you other than you so i'm gonna give you an example i was i was um i had a cast on my leg and I was going to do um, an exam. I was coming. I was coming to face to face with my professor to do an exam. I had to climb up to the third floor to meet him. That was physiology exam. A full year. If my friends from hello beautiful friend, uh, my friends from school, if they're gonna be watching this, they're gonna know what I'm talking about. Because this was bizarre. I had to climb up the third floor to meet the professor and 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 pass the exam right and i failed he failed all of us actually in that group all five of us did not get any score and listen to this i had to go down with my freaking cast that was from all my hip all the way down to my to my leg but i showed up okay i showed up for this exam i study hard and now look how brain works came home open up the damn same same books and I'm like, I start studying this failing questions that I failed. I was so angry and so pissed off that I knew that I don't know how this happened, that he just approached us with this question. I was so angry because I studied so hard. I spent so many days and I said, no, I came home and I started digging in and I approached the second exam and I passed it, but I didn't give up. I had said, oh no, this is not for me. I'm going to pass the exam. So how do you approach your life? What is the signature punch that you have? How do you show up? You know, for those of you, like people that right now watching me and then see you guys, I know some of you, I know some of my friends, I know how they're showing up. And that's why you need to have an opponent, opponent, your opponent, your life, friends, whoever is there will show you your weaknesses too okay they will show you your weaknesses and how is that because if they're gonna throw a strong punch and you're gonna get knocked down you're gonna know your weakness maybe you didn't block it maybe you didn't you didn't duck you didn't block your face you didn't block your body okay but also by studying the way how they move you're gonna have your own signature punch too so get a feedback from your people, get a feedback from your friends. What do they think? How do they think? But also be your own judge and only surround yourself with people that are on the same board with you because people that are jealous, that are not on you, they're not going to show up in your life. They're not going to share your story. They, they, they're not going to be there for you. They're going to be jealous and they have to go. Okay. And I'm telling you this from experience. So. I want to know your signature punch. I just don't want to be here just to talk and just to be, I wanted to know what is your signature punch? How are you going to show up this year? Are you going to punch through it? Are you not going to give up? Are you going to be consistent and persistent? Are you going to say, you know what? I don't know something, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to figure it out. Now, when you're going to get knocked out, when I said before, right? These things happen in life. Look, I got knocked down before coming to America so many, so many times. We got knocked down so many times owning businesses. Before we open up our, our, when we open up our first location of Peak Physique, we were behind the rent three months. 
okay? And you can see this in my story when I told you about uh, how to sign up for, for, for Herbalife to make some money from home. This, this vi these videos are there. Those are true videos, okay? And, and we were behind rent. And we didn't give up. I was trying to find the solutions. And I did. We did find the solutions. Start searching and learning and doing all these things. Because we sat down and we didn't give up. And I don't want you to give up this year because I see this so many of you given up because of the damn sickness. But don't let the sickness direct your life this year. Look, this is transferring with us. This is going with us. This is not going anywhere. This is there. We got to learn, live with it and find the joy, fulfillment, fullness, happiness, whatever you want to call it has to be there. So having the winning, winning mindset, like think about, think about the boxer when they show up to a match, they have the winning mindset because anytime you show up to your fight, what are you going to have? You're going to have a winning mindset. You have to show up to a match to have that winner in you. You need to think that you're going to win that match. Because if you don't, if your mindset coming already with being unsure, not, not, not knowing your moves, not knowing where you are, you're going to lose that fight. So that's what I was saying about these signature moves. You got to show up. You got to enter your head. I can do this. And I have to tell you, I do this all the time. I have to convince myself on myself. I have to sell myself on myself that it's okay not to know. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to have a heart rate going up to the roof. It's okay to don't know if somebody show up and not being influenced by this. This is just social media. People show up, people don't show up. People show up for your lives, people don't show up for your lives. And I've realized that, that I can't, I cannot this year let me dictate what my mission and what my purpose is if I want to teach you something. So I wanted to show you that all of us have it, but, oh, hello, Jasmine. It's okay. If you can, thank you guys. Thank you so much. If you can watch this from the beginning, because we're talking about having a boxer mindset this year. And I resonate everything. I give examples of, being a boxer, being being what does it mean to have this uh, these elements of a great boxer? So don't let other outside world that you cannot control, you cannot you can influence, but you cannot control dictates you how you're gonna do things th this year. Don't don't let this stop you. Like I know Jasmine, right? You you started your business and this is great. So don't let people and things people are not showing up, people not reacting to you. Don't let this discourage you. Because that's life. That's how businesses are, especially in the beginning. In any early stage, you're gonna have this. But if you persistent, if you uh, if you um, stubborn in a way, if you if you have a full joy of what you do, if you feel deeply believe in yourself, you can. If you sold on yourself, you're gonna sell. You're gonna sell to others. You gonna you sell yourself on yourself first, and then sell. Go sell to others. If you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to sell to others. That's it. I'm not saying that this can come in waves. It can. But look, I just started No Excuses uh, Network a few weeks ago. It's been like two months. Yeah, it's coming on two months. I have big dreams. I have big ideas with this. And the fact that people not showing up doesn't mean that I'm going to stop because I work diligently on the content i have this recorded i have it all planned and i have my security 
I have my domains. I have it all. So it's, it's, you have to, you have to think about it. Like your belief, where are you going to take this? So, so having the winning mindset, life, life is going to come out like in a, in a, in a match, in a boxing match. That's what it's going to be. So what are you going to throw a punch, duck, block? What are you going to do? It's, it's, it's like when I see people giving up, it's like when you giving up being alive, then you don't live anymore. You don't live. You're not living. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's, it's sometimes it's just so poignant, so deep, deep, these, um, I feel these messages so deeply and a person is so stuck. Guys, this is life. To be put on pause, to not do anything, that's not a living. To hide, to hibernate, to lie to yourself, lie to your own self, this is the worst thing that you can do. And you're not going to go anywhere with you. And if you have a problem with this, you got to text me, you got to message me, and we're going to help you. I see Jasmine, sell yourself to yourself, then sell yourself to others. Love it. Thank you, Jasmine. Yes. Um... This has to happen this year. I'm wishing you all really the best. I wanted to know your theme for this year. What is going to be your theme? Steve talked about the theme of shutting up the other episodes. I thought about boxing match. Uh, I was looking at my boxing videos. And I, and I thought to myself, I always get the best thoughts when I box, when I work out. This is the craziest thing. That's why our... All our workouts right now are all motivational workouts. I don't shut up for an hour. This is my new thing. I develop this within me because these thoughts come to me and I have to transfer them through the workout. So 60 minutes of motivation with workouts. That's the new thing. And this is going to be an app about it. So stay tuned because this is coming to a big work. You're going to get that. And, and so what's your theme this year? What is it? How are you going to, you're going to show up in, in, in a winning match? This is your life. You got to fight for it. Like a fighter, like a fighter, but be sold on yourself and charge forward. Like think about boxing. You come to the bag, you're shuffling back. You're coming forward. Like you charging forward or are you hiding? Boxers are what boxers are. They are fearless, right? They, they have no fear because if you have a fear, internal fear, what's going to happen? You're not going to, you, you, you can't punch against a person. You can punch against the bag if you have fear. But look, fear appears from not being confident enough, right? Not having enough knowledge. But here comes the thing. Everybody can gain knowledge. How are you going to gain the knowledge? Up to you. Are you going to be binging on Netflix and, and, and spending hours and hours of watching stupid stuff? Or are you going to start creating content and thinking what are you going to do? It's up to you where you are. But fear appears normally in your life because you don't know something, right? So think about the boxer. He comes into the match, maybe the first time. He doesn't, he knows his opponent from knowing he knows who he fights against, right? So he studies, he knows this person. But if he would have showed up not knowing anything, I'm sure that would be element of fear. But because he has belief in himself or herself, they, he, he or she is sold on herself the internal power, it's coming in the match and you're going to knock out the opponent. You're going to do all these strong punches to fight. And that's how you're going to approach the life this year. This is like a perfect episode in the beginning of the year. This is like a perfect episode. And again, this came to my head when I was punching. And I thought, show up as a boxer this year. This is you. This is you. You got to fight. You got to snap, you got to accelerate, you got to dock, you got to block, you got to charge forward. You got to retrieve a little bit. You're going to be on the offense, on the defense, play around, be light on your feet. Never stop moving. Heels off the ground. Be on your toes. Be on your toes. After our meeting and the end of this year, uh, you know, being honest and really looking at certain things, 
I took too long of a time for certain things. I got fire under my ass. That's how I feel. And I'm not going to stop. And I'm not going to stop because this is my mission. And you got to feel the same way. Be on your toes. Be on your toes. Like, what are your dreams? I have big dreams, guys. I have big dreams here. And I'm not going to no, let no one stop me. And that's how you got to think. What is your dream? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to be better in nutrition? Do you want to look better? What is that dream of yours? Where is it? Like, that's what life is all about. So many people forgotten that anything in our life, anything what we have, this desk, this tablet, this, this phone, this computer, this beautiful mug came from an idea. Somebody, sometimes, somewhere had an idea. But in order for them to make this, they couldn't give up on that idea. They continue working. But imagine, I would have never drank from this beautiful cup that Vanessa Williams gave me if this person was not sold on themselves. They didn't believe themselves. But because they believed, they plow it forward. They didn't worry about some obstacles on the way. They continue making this stuff. Like think about iPhone, tablets, anything. Like think about Steve Jobs. We will not have an iPhone, right? So, am I saying it right? Am I saying it right? What do you think? What are you going to make? What are you going to produce? What are you going to do this year? Ask yourself. Write it down. Clear your head. Close your eyes. Write it down. You don't know how to do it? Send me a message. Because I do 101. This is not coaching and training. The training is included. But I do 101 coaching with you monthly daily weekly it's up to you it's all different options that will get your head out of the sand get your head out of the sand you gotta come to a surface and and have a clear vision and congruency in your life and that's what i'm here for that's what i'm here to tell you and show you because i have done it we have done it we know the steps and we have the power and influence to do that. You just need to follow through. You just need to do it. And you're going to be there. So keep on going. Keep on grinding. Review all this, this entire video. It's great. You want to be on with me every single week on Zoom because this is free right now. Free for now. Join me. Stay with me. Ask me questions. This is your option. Send me direct message today. I'm going to send you a private link to a Zoom and we can talk. I want to hear from you because I love you guys when you guys coming on board on those lives, but I don't see your face and I want to see your face. So with this said, we all good. We just need to believe in ourselves. We all good. Just believe in yourself. Okay. Review this video again, please. Send me a message if you have any questions. And uh, we are always here for you. Peak Physique uh, online bootcamp and boxing. We have 21 days for $21. Of course, we always promote this virtual sessions, amazing sessions. And uh, we're going to get you to your victory. Yes, step by step, day by day, hour by hour. I will talk to you soon. Have no excuses. Thank you so much for showing up. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for writing. I see Jasmine. Jasmine, thank you so much. This is weekly episode. Every week, once, once a week, I show up on Zoom and on Facebook. And of course, what I'm asking you to do today, answer these questions that we have from previous two weeks. That was the last episode. You can find this on No Excuses Ladies Network on Facebook. There are questions, serious questions that I sat down with a dear friend of mine, Kristen, and uh, she's a coach and we were talking with each other. We have questions for you to answer at the end of the year, new year. And also do answer these questions that me and Steve just did a live show, the Russian and the freak, uh, second episode. We're going to have once a week, once a month series for you guys. And, and deep, dive deep, 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 <laughs> dig deep. That's a little a tongue twister. I can't do those. This is hard for me. And, 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 and really answer those questions. We spent like three hours on those, but that's what it takes. 
to be better. If you don't do that, it's going to be hard for you. So those two things, I want you to do that homework. And of course, Jasmine, if you can make a, make a video post on our No Excuses Ladies, who you are, what you do, it's always good to network. And yes, and if you have any questions, let me know. I will talk to you later. Have a No Excuses evening. Have a No Excuses day. Have a No Excuses life. Bye.